It makes you feel very scared and unsafe. They're guns that are supposed to be used for a game, but whoever is leaving these paintball splatters on cars and homes in Queens is now pulling the trigger on people, and they've already caused at least one serious injury. Good evening, everyone. I'm Maurice Dubois. And I'm Christine Johnson. CBS 2's Tracy Carrasco has the story. New at 11. And all of a sudden, I heard a very loud pounding. That pounding turned out to be nearly 10 shots fired with a paintball gun at the North Presbyterian Church in Flushing. As Wendy Kaiser O'Neill worked inside the night of June 1st, the mess of blue paint left behind seen here in these pictures. It was a splattering all over the door. It, it wasn't even like they were trying to do a, a target. Her car parked out front also hit. Just to think that somebody was just shooting, randomly shooting at targets. It makes you feel very scared and unsafe. Police say that was one of seven paintball attacks in Queens in the last few weeks. The first started back on May 25th on 17th Road in Whitestone. The Marises were home when their front window was shot at. And all of a sudden it went boom, and then I saw my screen broken, and then orange paint was all over the window. The suspects also fired their paintball gun a few houses away, not before stealing a potted plant and Kimberly Leone's son's toys off the front porch. Now we have to look around and look over our shoulder, like, where, why is this happening? But even more terrifying, police say the three teenage suspects are now driving around shooting at people in the area. Last Thursday night, a 48-year-old woman was hit, then a 29-year-old man. On Friday night, a 15-year-old was struck, and minutes later, a 17-year-old boy who suffered a serious eye injury. Police believe the suspects may even be recording their violent crimes. The victims want these guys caught. It does make me think, what's going to happen next? And what's going to happen to me? And it's very scary. Police here at the 109th Precinct believe the suspects are riding around in a black SUV, possibly a Jeep Liberty, and they're urging residents to be on the lookout. Reporting from Flushing, Queens, Tracy Carrasco, CBS 2 News.